morning. Let me share Psalm 26, verses 1 through 5. It says, Declare me innocent, O Lord, for I have acted with integrity. I have trusted in the Lord without wavering. Put me on trial, Lord, and cross-examine me. Test my motives and my heart. For I am always aware of your unfailing love, and I have lived according to your truth. I do not spend time with liars or go along with hypocrites. I hate the gatherings of those who do evil, and I refuse to join in with the wicked. It's verses 1 through 5, Psalm 26. Now, to me, at first glance, uh, there's this incredible audacity. Uh, it's kind of galling that David uh, speaks the way he does as he approaches the Lord in prayer as recorded in this psalm. Um, you know, it kind of sounds like I mean, he's arrogant and uh, you know, is entitled. You know, this coming from the man who committed adultery with Bathsheba and murdered Uriah. And he's saying this. But there are two things that we've got to remember when we read Scripture. Two things that we have to keep in mind. First of all, all Scripture is truth without any mixture of error. <clears throat> so what David says here is true. Secondly, the Holy Spirit is the one who gives the words to David. Remember, it's not just David who writes scripture. Whenever we say Paul wrote this, David wrote this, John wrote this, Peter wrote this, Matthew wrote this, Luke wrote this, we better keep in mind that there are always two authors to every part of scripture. The Holy Spirit, through Paul, wrote this. The Holy Spirit, through John, wrote this. The Holy Spirit, through Peter, wrote this. The Holy Spirit gave these words to David. To write down. So God's actually saying this through David. This is, this is scripture. So what are we to make of this passage then? Was David innocent? Well, I mean, at least in the moment he is speaking of. <clears throat> well, yes, he is. Um, did David act with integrity? Yes, he did. Did he live according to God's truth? Yes. Does he spend time with liars and hypocrites? No. Nope. Does he hate the gatherings of those who <clears throat> do evil and refuse to join in? Yes, he does. All scripture is truth without any mixture of error. The Holy Spirit gave these words to David to write down. So how's all this possible? Well, the key is at the end of verses 1 and 2. And I think this is part of where our misunderstanding and misconception comes in. David says, I have trusted in the Lord without wavering. And then in verse 2, test the motives of my heart. David has a faith relationship with the Lord. And even though he isn't sinless, he trusts the Lord without wavering, which his faith caused him to be right in the Lord's eyes. His faith in the Lord. It's the same thing that's described over in Hebrews. It talks about Abraham and his faith. In Romans, where it talks about Abraham and his faith, has that whole chapter in Hebrews chapter 11 of those who walked by faith. Even though he isn't sinless, he trusts the Lord without wavering. Now, the same is true for us. We aren't clean because we're sinless. We're made clean through faith in Jesus. Hey, friend. Even though you make mistakes, even though you do sin, the Lord declares us 
innocent, when we come to him in faith through Jesus. Pray with me. Lord, thank you for cleansing our hearts. Thank you for declaring us innocent, not because of what we've done, but because of what you've done. And Lord, as we trust in you without wavering, we know that that is the very thing that pleases you most, our faith. And so I pray, Lord, that today you would help us walk by faith through this day. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, friends. I hope you have a great day. We'll see you.